welcome back to another video so in this video I'm going to show you all how I achieve this look mainly for dick appointments um, and my go-to little no makeup makeup look for dates first dates um so yeah this is a look I heavily used in 2017 I kind of lost my touch on the signature look I used to create since I hardly ever hardly ever since I don't really participate in dick appointments anymore so just channeling a little bit of old Kelly for y'all and um, showing y'all how to achieve this look, which is dick appointment approved. So hopefully you all enjoy watching this video and seeing how I come up with this look. Damn, I keep repeating myself. But anyways, slay your faces and get your dick. So with that being said, let's just get started. Oh, make sure you like and subscribe as well, okay? I would definitely appreciate it. All right. Peace. So this was really my go-to look whenever I had a date coming up, which obviously followed, not obviously, but it followed up with a dick appointment. So this is really just my go-to natural, no makeup, but makeup look. I never was the type to say that I had a natural makeup because I was full glam or no glam. But uh, over the years, I've de I have developed um, the no makeup um, look. So this was really what I used that whole summer. Um, I just did my brows using the gimme brow which I still had and I forgot how much I like it it's just I like the boy brow a little bit more um sorry this one part is bothering me back in the day I used to wear contacts like hella so that's why I think that's what took my looks to my natural looks to the next level but I don't really wear color contacts anymore so y'all just get my brown eyes today but I have learned to love Brown eyes. These are my brows. Uh, I'm going to go to primer now. Oh! Hey. Yeah, just come on my face. Thanks. I use the Fenty Beauty primer. I don't really use it that much anymore, but you know, I figured why not do it for the vid. And one of my go-to natural foundations um, is the Super Balanced, I think, yep, Super Balanced Silk by Clinique. I forgot how much I love this color, but this color, this foundation, but it's so bomb. I just used it the other day and I will be recreating the look that I did it for, but um, yeah, I forgot how much I loved it. Wow, I should have put my hair back, but whatever. And this is in the shade Silk Chamois or Chamois. And I'm just going to use my beauty blender or my Morphe sponge to blend it all in. See, and it's just very natural but still gives me coverage. My oils do seep in after a few hours, so I tend to bring up, think, a powder to touch up. Oh my god, I love this foundation. And usually when I know I have a dick appointment coming up, I do like to shave my legs and underarm hair, but I never really shaved my, you know, my kitty. Because honestly, I didn't give a fuck, like, bitch, I didn't ask you to shave your fucking pubes. Like, why is it expected that girls have to be hairless, you know? Why is that the norm or what's attractive, the beauty standards, I mean? Like, what the fuck? So, love your body, love your hairs, don't do it for nobody but you, boo. If you want to shave down there, shave down there. If you don't, you don't have to. And guys are just going to have to deal with it. I mean, they're still going to fuck you anyways, right? I was going to do a routine, but literally, like I said, I don't really have one. And I haven't really, obviously, not obviously, but I haven't really had any, like, formal dick appointments in like forever so like I don't really have a routine anymore and I don't need one so this was, would obviously be my ideal look for it if I still wore makeup to fuck <laughs> use the tart shape tape so that's what we're about to do today and I will insert photos of how um I used to do my makeup so that you guys can see I was for real for real and in almost 100% of those photos I got dick after so very effective and I will be doing a um what's in my dick appointment bag 
video as well just to share with y'all what I pack when I know I'm about to sleep over like I know most of the time you're you're supposed to go home but I mean so wifey right it's time to set just going to use some loose powder this is a MAC Times Patrick Star as you all know I did end up taking off the sifter as I mentioned in one of my previous videos I'm going to go in with the Vanillaized Skin Finish in Light by MAC. Y'all know what it be. Oops! Why did I use this brush? And just under the eyes. Ow! That was right in the eye, not on. I said under the eyes, not in the eye. You dumb bitch. I'm just putting on the double wear powder, pressing it into my skin for a little bit more coverage <coughs> a highlight I used to use a lot it's broken but it is bitch I told you it was broken it's the Too Faced um, Heart Highlighter Love Light Blinded by the Light I don't even know if they still had this but this is really what I use for a natural glow what else where <sighs> Oh my fucking way, y'all is rude as fuck. They're doing their laundry and that's why they're so inconsiderate of how loud they're swinging the fucking door. Oh, I fucking hate people. Are we done? Rude. So my old co-workers slash friends can attest to my routine. I always, like I said, did my makeup at work and they would just be like, where you going? But they already knew once I had my makeup out, I was going on a date, boo. I'm just using the Hula Light to contour a bit. Oh God, they're so fucking loud. Like, can you not? Bitch, see that's what I'm saying. So fucking rude. I wish people were more considerate of other people, but you know, we're humans and selfish as fuck, so. Bitch, stop! Hmm, I hope they hear me yelling, like, bro. Annoying. Usually they're not even this loud, but they must know I'm filming, so, you know, you know how that goes, the curse of filming. But on the real, y'all, I'm so glad I'm done with dick appointments, like, glad I closed that chapter of my life. But, I mean, hey, if you're still in it, good for you. Do you, boo. Just strap up, you know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all want it. And don't do it just because y'all feel pressure to have sex. Okay, let me do finally my powder. I'm just using my NYX brow powder. I'm trying to keep them light and airy. Let me just. Y'all, I don't want y'all to sit through this, so I'm just gonna. Speed it up. Let me just do this and I'll be right back, okay? I'm also gonna throw on some bronzer. This is just a Laura tantalizer. I used to use it a lot because it was summertime and a bitch was a little bit tan or whatever. I'm looking like a bronze goddess bitch. And then of course I used Gingerly Blush by MAC, my go-to. And this is basically using all makeup in my top favorites 
beauty favorite products video that I shared. If you haven't watched that, please go watch it. Or else don't ask me what my favorite items are, okay? And just carve out this part, clean it up a bit. Have you guys ever had failed dick appointments? I have. Oh, another thing I forgot I did. I used to use a brown eyeliner and I would tight line with it. But mainly keeping it focused on the outer edge of my eyes just to make it a little bit bigger. Oh! I haven't done this in a minute. And then I would just kind of like flick it up and make it become a wing. just to help extend my eyes a bit more. Then I'll use the end of it, the sponge, and just flick it out. Wow, I feel like I'm channeling 2017 Kelly right now. Go ahead, get you some dick, boo. You deserve it. I also used to use a nude eyeliner um, and just use that in my waterline. Go ahead and spray my face. I use the Hangover RX. I'm gonna go to my lips and then I'll be right back. I'm just gonna line them with my original trusty dusty Rock and Rose by Jordana. Okay, BRB. So that's it for my lips since we'll be kissing and stuff and kissing other things. I never do anything too crazy. I just wanted to find them. Then I go over it with a gloss. This is the um, Clinique Super Balm. I forgot I had to do my signature mole. I used to always do. And I just use the same. Oh, there it goes. That's it, really. Um, I just use my lip liner and do that. I'm going to go over it with that sponge from that eyeliner I have and dip it into a lighter brown shade uh, from my brows and then just kind of go over that dot I made. Just to kind of set it in place. Wow, I'm really feeling like I'm getting some dicks tonight. <laughs> Real quick, I'm going to apply a little bit more highlighter. I'm using the Solstice Palace by, um, Palace. <laughs> the Solstice Palette by Sleek Makeup. And just using that lighter yellow shade and just, boom, game over. I need to use nylon in my inner corner. I'm just clearly out of sync. I mean, I just don't do this anymore, you guys. But I still want to share my routine because I did used to get a lot of requests for how I did my natural makeup. Y'all just didn't know I was getting dick after. Okay, I'm going to do my lash now for real. And then we will be finished, I think. Well, and then I'm going to do the bottom mascara. So just hang in there. Okay, this is the finished look. Oh, I should give you guys a close-up. Blue face, baby. Yeah, I down, Tatiana. Yeah, I I'm definitely channeling Dick Appointment Vibes from 2017 Kelly. Hopefully you all enjoyed this little get ready with me tutorial and to see how I achieve my go-to look for a natural, sexy Dick Appointment date. My go-to um, perfume as well. This is C by Giorgio Armani. I'm wearing denim on denim and I hate that. Like, I told a girl in high school that that's one of my worst, um, not worst, but that's one thing I hate the most about fashion. But look, here I am. Hypocritical bitch. But you're allowed to change your mind, so. Yeah, all right. Well, anyways, I hope this video helps you all out in thinking of what type of makeup to do for a dick appointment. Um, let me know if you all try it out and Remember to strap it up too, okay? Because I hope you're not trying to get pregnant on a one-night stand, so. I suppose you will do what you gotta do, but just be careful and protect yourself, okay? I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.